you from point A to point B because there's no parking. Yeah. You know, they say, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll travel 10 miles with, in, a, in, a, in a coach in order to get to things because there's no parking. Often. And also the people that are attending, even though that may not be in that general vicinity, maybe around the Detroit areas or the people that are going to the event may have to come from those areas. Yeah. And part of it is, is it may only be a 10, 10 mile stretch on the west side, but it's all those freeways and all everything else and how it affects everybody. Yeah. That, yeah. And, and I guess, like I said, it will cause them not to. All, um, <laughs> it, it is going to, I said, it will disrupt the shopping pattern because the people that, no, actually, there will be the people that will get pissed off about standing in line and they will do a U, illegal U turn to the road. It's being done on Sepulveda. And they will U, they will U out of the area and they'll go take their money somewhere else for days. Well, you know, here's the other part is remember, I got a ticket in driving in my own neighborhood because they were using it as a detour. Yeah, because it's a detour from Sepulveda. They're using, they're funneling people off of Sepulveda over through this area and they're giving people tickets for, you know, first of all, you, they're not supposed to use this area to drive through. But they have shut down things. So, yeah, that's just one of those things. Look for that, but look for more tickets. I mean, you're going to. I think Andrew Kusher said. Ashton Kusher said it is not a free pass to do the to do the uh, yellow drive. Oh, actually, I did love this um, because Ashton Kutcher, as everybody knows, does a lot on Twitter. Yeah, right? he, he lives him on him. It. Yes, he he does. And one of the things he he said the LAPD asked him to tweet about Car uh, Carmageddon about the freeway being closed. Of course, he says 405 freeway between 10 and 101 will be closed. July 16th to 17th. In exchange, I would like a free pass on that stoplight ticket. It was yellow. Yeah, it ain't going to happen. What happens is California has a real set rule, which is you keep the intersections clear. Mm -hmm. And what happens, what happens is idiot will stop in front of you, you're coming through, and you're stuck in the intersection. So, yeah. uh, no, and, and then what happens is the Cause, people... Because you don't get a pass for that because no. the guy stopped. But they'll try you. to turn around you when you're trapped in the middle of an intersection. Yeah, they do. And they have accidents, so that's not But, uh, you know, we, we're going to keep going. I mean, bro, we're going to be... You know, don't count on getting the grocery store. Well, it will actually go to get your groceries right now. Yeah. As, unless it's really close to you. Now, here's one of the things that really surprised me. Because this is the opening weekend for Harry Potter. Yep. You mentioned that they expected ticket sales to be down. They expect ticket sales to be down. And they said that Carmageddon is going to skew the ticket sales. Because you have to understand, a lot of the better theaters are off of the 405, the 101, and the 1. That's where the great big multiplexes are. So uh, they expect, they said that they, they've already built into the fact that this is a hometown movie, folks. Warner Brothers, which is in Burbank, of which you're not going to be able to get to, of which the parties that are being held over there this weekend are going to really be. Bad. I know. You know, but um, they said they've already built into the fact that this, it, the, the, what happens is they're not going to have an accurate representation because of the fact that the main theaters are off of those roads. You know, here's the surprising part is like, when a movie opens, it's national and international. And to think that a freeway closure in LA could skew those numbers that yep. much? That's right. It can cause them, uh, because people, uh, you know, okay, here it is. It is a kiddie flick, no matter what it may have. It is a kid's movie. Are you going to set for hours and, and uh, you know, going to the theater with your kids screaming? Uh, uh, ain't going to happen. Mm -hmm. So they'll say, well, instead of taking them here, we'll go take them to the multiplex in Santa Monica. Mm -hmm. Well, the multiplex in Santa Monica uh, has, a, has a pit limit on how long you could park because they don't count movies that are as long as Harry Potter. And they do tickets, you folks. Oh, well, that's part of it. We're going to see a Harry Potter. We're seeing a double. Yeah. It's a double one. So we're seeing Tonight. Harry Potter um, 1 and 2. Tonight. Yes. We get to see Harry Potter when Harry Potter actually is officially allowed to come on at 12.01. Yes, which is when the, the current one comes out in 3D. But we see the precursor, the last one before that. Yeah. But it means you're at the movie theater park for, what, six and a half, seven hours? And it doesn't give you, you have two hours parking. Two hours, and, it didn't, and we're going to be there at six. And the Harry Potter movies are what? Well, most of the movies now are over two hours. So, but you got to understand. I mean, so what's going to happen too is that 
two things will happen. People will abandon that area for the weekend where there's heavy concentration. We, we went over it. We, we, we have to use the 405 to get to where we went to see one of the, the 3D movies. We actually saw, um, we saw, you know, we went to Pirates down. We're really nice. We also used the area to get over to see the Amy screenings, which we just talked about. Mm -hmm. But um, it is, it's just uh, uh, because people have the need to spend money on projects that people aren't going to be able to use for a long time, they basically do damage to uh, a lot of people's jobs. Mm -hmm. This is so ridiculous. All in the nature, like I said, this is, this is why it's being done. Yeah. Okay. To reduce traffic congestion. Well, you know, Angelinos live in their cars. They live in their cars. They yeah. Want to, okay. The, and part of the reason we live in our cars is because the public transportation system. So. I, I, I predate. Okay. I, uh, my father, you know, was a street. My one because when you're an actor. And you do whole construction work also. You do a lot of other jobs. One of my my father was a, you know, he was a he was a rent a cop for the L.A. Police Department, which means he was a he basically what he did he 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 he, he was a reserve police officer, but he did the uh, you know traffic control when it was needed. He did the sporting events when it was done, and he did other things, you know, like all the award shows and movie stuff. But my father was also a streetcar conductor when the streetcar system was one of the finest in the country, where you could get from point A to point B on the streetcars. Mm -hmm. What they did was they tore them out because they didn't look attractive. You know, they never dawned on them well. Uh, instead of doing this, we could actually put the cables in the ground like they do in other countries, and you basically alongside the track, and they said, well, basically, you could get electrocuted. Well, not if, if the instant when you went by, it shuts off the track behind you, Mm -hmm. That's how it works. They didn't have, they gutted the best. Okay, when I was growing up, you could get on a streetcar and go from anywhere in a city. Anywhere. I mean, you could take a streetcar from, um, uh, say, we were, in, we were in Culver City. You could go from Culver City to Long Beach on a streetcar. Mm -hmm. That was it. No big deal. I mean, and for, was it five cents they charged us? I only get, I only had to pay a quarter on the, on the metro because I go over. Yeah, but that's not happening now. Not today. Actually, no, Although Friday think... Friday it does. Really? I'm, I'm, I, I get to ride it on weekends for a quarter. I'm old. Really? I don't have to pay that $10 because I'm a senior citizen. Ooh. I think they had like, they had the special passes. I think it was like $11 yeah, to ride $10. the metro all weekend or $10. Yeah, $10. It was pretty reasonable. Yeah. But um, it's not... Although weekend rates are always lower anyway. But... Yeah, well, that's right. Weekends. You know, depending, it's not a deal depending upon your age. So uh, they may, I, 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 here's a good one. In order to, watch them, in order to profit off of it, they'll probably take the senior citizen and discount rates off and make you pay more money, which guess what will happen? You pay more. You, you, you won't buy. You say, I won't have $10. I've got like five bucks. You know, I, I got, I'm going downtown. I'm going somewhere. I'm going to have breakfast and, you know, I got enough money to pay for the breakfast. I don't have any more money than that. Mm -hmm. So, but um, so, uh, I know they're putting things out on our doors, and we got we have a window to the world here, folks. We do everything, but um, uh, there is the downsides are horrible if you live in Los Angeles. I would say it's probably the same if you lived in New York City. San Francisco isn't as big a deal because the park system does work. Actually, New York City does have a good transit system. I've been on it. Well, so. here's the other part is, if you plan on going somewhere and you don't want to, I, I guess it gives you a built-in excuse. Of course, whether you want it as an excuse or not, it just exists. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so it, it gives you reason to... to give part, of, part of it is, it's like, really, check, this is the weekend, you really need to check your navigation system. Yeah. Yeah. And, here the, and keep it running. It is our biggest tip that we can give you. If your GPS system tells you to take that road, don't do it. Because everybody else is being told to take the same road. You can get by. Uh, here, here's a trick. Is that um, uh, keep the four, keep the roads that are closed off to your, uh, if you're going north, keep it off to your left hand side. Because you and you can take the roads off to the 
off to the right of that thing because you can drive. There are through streets that the navigation system is not going to tell you. Yeah. You can also, um, a lot of streets that basically don't show up in your navigation system are straight streets through. The people that live in those communities, I mean, I can get, I will not tell you how many times that we've went to the Parker hangar that I have not got in as press and I, I came back unhappy. I know all of the streets on that side that you, and my other, there are more streets that, you know, I've also rode my bicycle since I was little up and down these side streets. There are straight streets through that you don't know that are straight streets through. And that you can, you know, like you go and then it comes to an end, you just make a jag over and you get back on the thing where you go around the corner, so. But the GPS says we're not going to do any darn good except to tell you what not to do. Well, the biggest, I mean, part of it is you need your navigation system for traffic and I'll tell you what roads are busy. But the other challenge is, is don't rely solely on your GPS. They lie. Because the people that put those together do not live in those areas. No. And they're looking at some maps because... Uh, oh, we'll flat out tell you that we, after doing a complete 360 degree circle and making two miles... In oh, in Arizona? Arizona, um, they, we, we stopped ending at something to munch on. They said, well, it doesn't work in parts of Arizona, as we found out. As we found out. Yeah, and it doesn't work. There are parts of the city of Los Angeles that the navigation system does not work well in. It doesn't always get those one-way streets right either. That's right. So <laughs> this, is, kind of this is our, you know, our, it basically, here is, well, we can only, this is from, we can only hope that this is not going to happen. This is Los Angeles. What world are they talking about? We can only hope that the drivers in Los Angeles will be responsible. And if this is Los Angeles, well, we can only help, you know, hope that the transit system works exactly as we, if this is Los Angeles. Well, this yeah, is, and, yeah. That's the and and this do. time, especially chill because uh, there's going to be a lot of aggravated people out there. Yeah. I don't care what happens to go south. Other people say, just go south. Yeah, but we're working on a TV series this weekend, folks, so we don't have to worry about it. We're here, and we don't go that direction for any reason. So I guess until we'll give you our what happened next week. Until then, this is old camera. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for more information, you can go to www.montybubbles.net on the net. And wherever you are, just subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. Check out our RSS feed. Yeah, and we actually, we're getting, uh, we're in the process of building a news service, which is now starting to get listed, which is funny since I, I haven't worked on it in a week. Actually, we'll, we'll, we'll be working on it with Carmageddon. Yeah. That's, that's right. And so thank you once again for over 40 million links on the internet.